Hey Drone Technology fans, Bill here. CES 2018 is wrapping up today. It's January the 12th and many people, you know, know we're expecting an announcement from DJI. Well, not all is lost as far as DJI is concerned, as far as drone announcements. I'll have one coming right up. Hey Drone Technology fans, Bill here. We were all hoping for a major release from DJI for something, oh, say like the Mavic 2 or the Phantom 5. And again, as I've stated before, you know, DJI likes to have their, stage their own events for that. And they're very good. So I would be saying watch again in the probably March, April, May timeframe. We'll be getting an announcement there. But all is not, is, all is not lost as far as an announcement is concerned. Rise Tech introduced the Tello. Now, why do you say all is not lost? That's a good question. Rise Tech incorporated not only DJI technology into this drone, but they also incorporated Intel, um, process, an Intel processor in it as well. Um, it, is, it's, it has an unbelievable price point at $99. It's compatible with controllers that are out there, has a 13 minute flight time, um, can go 100 meters. It shoots video in 720p and stills at five megapixels. It has with electronic image stabilization. There's two antennas. It has modes like throw and go, 8D flips, and a bounce mode. It has such features as auto takeoff and landing, low battery protection, fail-safe protection, a vision positioning system, and it is something that's brand new, something that's programmable. And a lot of probably what you heard, you've already experienced that with probably the Spark or the Mavic or the Phantom. If you're if you're if you've had a DJI drone and it's very similar, one of the things that I can say and that I did do some reading on, um, I, I've read a lot on the Tello. One of the it's it's not a drone that's going to be out there on a windy day. So if you have something more than a five mile an hour wind, you're going to have to pull it back inside. Now um, the nice thing about this is out of the box with the Tello app, you'll be able to use your phone with this, so you won't have to get a controller, but you know, for me, I always feel more comfortable with a controller. You know, phone does pretty good, but a controller I think is better. Um, I think this is going to be a big hit. It's going to get a lot of people in in on drones. Um, it has it has propeller guards on it, um, and it looks amazingly similar to the Spark. Um, you know, which which is which is incredible. I think it's going to be a good seller for Tello for Rise Tech. Um, and again, it's under the DJI brand. Um, you know, DJI, it's, they're selling it on their website, but I did, and, and, here's, and here's a conversation that I had with DJI Global on Twitter. They did tell me they want to caution people that this is not a DJI product. It is a Rise Tech product using DJI and Intel technology. So, because I know there's a lot of people going out there with reviews uh, that are saying, you know, calling this a DJI Tello. Just want to make that clear and upfront. If you like the content from today's video, please hit the like button. Be sure also to check out my Facebook page, uh, Build a Drone Reviewer, where I post mini reviews and daily updates on the drone industry. Also, be sure to check out my blog, where all the any type of video that I put out here onto YouTube, it gets out there and it gets announced so everybody can get a copy of it. Um, wanna thank everybody for watching and happy flying.